today I'll show you the BIOS settings on my computer and to get to the BIOS press the delete delete key keep pressing the delete key while the computer starts this is the BIOS and this is actually the simplified version of the BIOS and you have the system temperature and the voltage for the CPU very important the CPU temperature and this is also the fan curve the CPU fan curve that will allow you to make your computer more silent or run more performance out in a hot environment when it's hot outside when it's hot in the room you might want to set this to go up faster than uh, the default or you choose different settings so for example here we can do use a silent silent mode that delays the the it will go up in higher in the the change from standard to silent mode the actually the curve will go up to 100% a bit slower than with the standard and turbo will go sooner so the higher this number here the closer to 100% the louder the fan is so you have here more fans each fan has a setting and actually I don't use some of these fan headers I have a few fans in the computer but they are not connected to the actual fan headers I just connect them to the Molex connectors it was easier for me like that and full speed if you set the fan to full speed it will go you can even hear it you hear it now that's silent full speed I don't use the CPU much so I don't really need anything other than the standard this one doesn't do anything Let's see if this one is installed. Nope. Maybe here. No, so they don't do anything, these ones. Okay, I'll try to use the keyboard more. And these are the actual, here in the corner, you see the uh, current speed of the fans and chassis fans maybe they are not controlled by PWM it depends on the fan also most important here one of you was asking a question about uh, their memory the RAM not going above 2.8 or something like this I don't really do anything special I really just use the DOCP profiles from the memory modules and these are Kingston I think Fury or something like this so the the memory modules they have profiles built into them and this one is 3000 profile 2 and that one is 3200 at 1.35 volts okay for the memory is really automatic I didn't really do much about it but we will go into advanced mode F7 okay I will go through all the settings so you can get an idea of of what settings I have I didn't really do much anything interesting okay so now we'll go into the settings and I noticed that in my favorites here I I used the DOCP in the settings here after going into the advanced menu in my favorites AI overclock tuner at the beginning it was set to auto or you, you can have it on auto on manual or DOCP okay so if if you set it to DOCP uh, the clock memory and bus one to one so you shouldn't really overclock the memory too much um, I don't really, I didn't dig too much into all these things and uh, yeah it's not good to overclock the it's not good to overclock the memory in general from what I understand but I didn't really care much into it 
most important here you see on the right side these are the memory this computer is uh, as asus prime asus prime x 570p and the processor is ryzen 3700x from what i remember there are videos about the build the computer and everything and the frequency of the cpu now is 3.6 gigahertz 54 celsius and the voltage 1.4 these are set automatically and it will automatically boost to 4 gigahertz by itself when it needs to and lower when it's getting hot the memory frequency 3.2 3200 megahertz 3.2 gigahertz and the capacity is 32 giga it's four four memory sticks of king king Stored fury i think that's it the voltages are here from the power supply and i use the docp setting not auto not manual when i had it on auto it had a few issues that the processor was not boosting it was not getting high in frequency it was the uh, the multiplier of the processor was a bit stuck maybe it was in manual i can't remember the ocp really makes it much easier so here you see the bios version from what i remember i had to downgrade the bios at some point i don't remember why but i might have to do another update just to get the latest version I think I had some, I thought I had some power problems when the computer was restarting after shutdown, but it was something else actually. And uh, this is the processor. So the BIOS now is 4.021 and I will do an update soon, maybe even today. The processor, I'm, I'm AMD Ryzen 7 3700X, eight cores and the 3600 megahertz base frequency. I know this is this is the current speed and the memory the speed of the processor the speed and the capacity of the ram and uh, there's not much here to to show you so let's see ai tweaker this is the important part here to be careful so ai overclock tuner i have docp ddr4 3000 so why it's 3000? I don't know why it's 3000. Should be 3200. Maybe because I changed it earlier. But the, the memory speed is there. It's 3.2. So these settings will change automatically based on the profile you set. Yeah, this is the memory there. Maybe it's because I didn't save these settings yet. So I'll put it back to 3.2 gigahertz. Yeah, so you have memory frequency auto or set it manually. And it's important to set the voltages for the memory, this memory specifically. So you have CPU core ratio auto, auto everything. Really, I keep as much as possible on auto because I don't want to get uh, these are from the DOCP settings the XMP profile I believe but I'm not sure auto auto and here the processor processor voltage is auto the socket the chipset voltage auto but I had to set the voltage for the memory on manual I don't know, at some point it wasn't taking the correct voltage from the DOCP profile. And because the memory drive, the memory modules I use, their requirements is 1.35 volts. Yours might be different. You might need more volts or less volts or even the default as it is. So from this profile here. Yeah, I think this profile was setting it to 1.3 volts. Oh no, it's the same, 1.35 volts. So maybe if I set it to, maybe it's, if I set it to auto, it will change to 135, but I don't want to change that. That's really specific to my, to the memory modules I have. 
the rest is really auto everything auto so probably if you have problems with the memory not working at the correct frequency maybe the voltage needs to be set to what the memory modules have written on them they have a label with the requirement for requirements of the voltage for frequencies maybe they are set to to work on one frequency but on another frequency higher frequency you would have to give it more voltage but it this will be in the specifications of the memory modules not just anywhere so this is auto everything auto i use the docp profile really automatic overclocking the tpm is enabled but i don't use tpm i really try not to use tpm for anything i don't encrypt any files and i have a feeling if i start encrypting files i would lose them at some point because i lose the key or after a bios update you before a bios update you have to back up your encryption keys and it's such a long story it's not really worth it so we have TPM, the uh, firmware TPM is the built-in to the motherboard. You can also have a TPM as an add-on. CPU configuration. These are, I'm just going through them so you can see them on the screen. If someone needs these settings to see how it works now. There are two NVMe drives. One is Gen 3 and another one is Gen 4. Audio is enabled. I try to disable the RGB lighting. Don't really need RGB. APM, this is a bit here you would support settings, but they might be wrong. I have sometimes I have problems with the power and the yeah, USB. These are the hard drives, NVMe, I wouldn't go here to overclocking, and that's all on this page, and the monitor, you can see the details of the system right now it started recently so the voltages are more or less stable the fan configuration i don't really need to use that boot configuration and the boot option one is from the nvme windows 11 these are the tools to do the BIOS update. Easy flash utility. Don't install Armory Crate. You will be sorry for that. This will this <laughs> this is really a sneaky way. In BIOS, this is enabled by default from what I remember. It's the first thing I check after doing a BIOS update to make sure this is not enabled. If it is enabled it will pop up in windows trying to get you to install armory crate which is going to make your computer slow so didn't really want to change anything like this so this card changes if you wanted to save the changes that's what you would have done i hope this is helpful <laughs> let me know if this helped in some way I hope this is helpful. Let me know if this helped in some way. And uh, the, the memory problems usually are related to voltage, voltage or overclocking the memory is not a good idea and um, the chipset is also not a good idea. Only the processor and it's good to do it automatically. The processor can be overclocked automatically. As you see now it's going to 4.2 3.9 gigahertz below here and it's it's going up and down the the way the speed of the processor goes up and down is from the multiplicator 
and the bus speed stays the same 3.6 gigahertz but the speed of the processor goes up and down from from four even even higher than four sometimes for the memory here we have 36 giga of memory and available while windows is loaded and it's not doing anything really it's just sitting idle 21 giga available so now it's pretty stable 32 giga with 21 available there are programs that use a lot of memory so that's why i have the 32 but 16 actually is more than enough if you don't have some program that you use that eats a lot of memory like davinci resolve for example the davinci resolve would need a really good uh, graphical card and memory also look how the available goes down when i launch davinci resolve now Actually, it will go down a little bit, but not too much because it's uh, not working when it's actually doing when uh, when it's actually doing an edit. It will during editing it will eat a lot of memory, and now it's just really not doing much, but still. Yeah, so this is it. If you if you have programs that need a lot of memory, you should have 32, 64 even, or maybe even more, 128. But otherwise, 16 giga is more than enough. And really, the speed of the memory, I don't think it matters that much. Thanks for watching.